one lesson number three the mountain and the squirrel written by ralph waldo emerson let's know about the poet ralph waldo emerson was born on may 25 1803 and died on april 27 1882 he was an american philosopher and essayist during the 19th century so ralph waldo emerson was an american philosopher May twenty five, eighteen or three, and died on April twenty seven, eighteen eighty two. Okay, and children in this world all have different talents and have important place. No one is big, no one is small. All have different talents, right? Some of you must be good in drawing. Some of you must be good in writing. Some of you must be good in singing, dancing, right? All have different talents. we should not feel low if you are not able to do something right you must be do good in doing something else in this lesson the squirrel and the mountain the squirrel defends against the mountain saying that even though it is small it is lively and active than the mountain all have different talents okay now i will read and explain the poem all of you take out page number 17 Lesson number three: The mountain and the squirrel. The mountain and the squirrel had a quarrel, and the former called the latter little prig. But replied, "You are doubtless very big, but all sorts of things and weather must be taken in together to make up a ear and a spear. And I think it no disgrace to occupy my place. If I am not so large as you, you are not." So small as I, and not half so spry. I will not deny you make a very pretty squirrel trap. Talents differ, all is well and wisely put. If I cannot carry forest on my back, neither can you crack a nut. Written by Ralph Waldo Emerson. These are the keywords you learn. First word, squirrel. S U U I R R E L. Squirrel. Next, quarrel. Q U A W R E L quarrel. Next, prig. P R I G prig. Next, disgrace. D I S G R A C E disgrace. And last one, sprite. S P R Y sprite. Children, I will read the poem. The mountain and the squirrel. Underline squirrel had a quarrel. Underline quarrel. And the former called the latter little prig. Underline prig. Bun replied, "You are doubtless very big, but all sorts of things and weather must be taken in together to make up a ear and a spear. And I think it no disgrace. Underline disgrace to occupy my place. If I am not so large as you, you are not so small as I, and not." Half so spry, underline spry. I will not deny you make a very pretty squirrel trap. Talents differ, all is well and wisely put. If I cannot carry forest on my back, neither can you crack a nut. Written by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Word bank. Prig means an annoying person who believes he or she is better than others. Bun. Short for bunny, name given to the squirrel. Spear means a round object here, the earth. Disgrace means shame. To occupy my place, to be what I am. Spry means agile or active and lively. Crack means break. Explain. The mountain and the squirrel had a quarrel, and the former called the latter little prig. Once the mountain and the squirrel had a quarrel. The former called the latter little prig. Former is the mountain and the latter is the squirrel. So uh, once the mountain called the squirrel little prig. Prig means an annoying person who believes he or she is better than others. Here the mountain thinks that he is better than the squirrel, so he is calling him little prig. Bun replied, "You are doubtless very big." Bun here the name given to the squirrel. So the squirrel replied, "Yes, doubtless I know you are very big. 
But all sorts of things and weather must be taken together to make up a year and a sphere. One reply, here sphere means earth. Earth revolves around the sun, right? To make up a year, all sorts of things should come together. Different kinds of seasons, right? A year consists of different kinds of seasons. So all sorts of things should come together to make up a year and a sphere. The squirrel replied. And I think it no disgrace to occupy my place. If I am not so large as you, you are not so small as I, and not half so sprite. The one replied, and he said, I think I am not ashamed that whatever I am, I am smaller than you, whatever I am, I am happy with that, I am not ashamed of myself. And he said, I am not so large as you, and you are not small like me. And not half so spry. Spry means here active. The squirrel is saying even if you are big you can't move. And I am small but I am more active than you. I will not deny you make a very pretty squirrel trap. Talents differ all is well and wisely put. If I cannot carry forest on my back, neither can you crack a nut. The squirrel said I will not deny you make a very pretty squirrel trap. The squirrel says that the mountain has very pretty squirrel trap in his mouth, in his on his back. But the tracks are how the tracks are formed by going up and down, right? By the squirrel. And the squirrel says talents differ. All have different talents, and we have to give respect to that. We have all is well and wisely put. Then the squirrel says that I cannot carry forest on my back. It's very small, right? The mountain carries forest, right? Mountain has lot of trees. So the squirrel says that I cannot carry forest like you, and you cannot crack a nut. The mountain can't do anything, right? Even if it's too big, it cannot crack a small nut. That is done by the squirrel. So squirrel says that all have different talent, and we have to respect. I cannot carry the forest like you, and even if you are big. You cannot crack a small nut. So in this poem, what we understood, we have to respect others' talents. Right? All have different talents, and we should respect. Okay, children. I hope you all understood. Now we will move on to the daily exercises. Children, first me choose the correct option. The mountain and the squirrel quarrel because. A. The mountain was proud of its size. The mountain was proud of his wisdom. The mountain was boastful. What is the right answer? The mountain was proud of its size. So, answer is number one option A. Next, the squirrel was not ashamed of its A. Tail. B. Size. C. Activeness. The squirrel was not ashamed of its size. Right. So, answer is option. B. Next, number three. The squirrel accepts that he could not carry dash on its back. A. Animals and birds. B. Ponds and lakes. C. Forest. The squirrel accepts that he could not carry forest on his back. Right. So, answer option C. Forest. Next, number four. What message do we get from the poem? The mountain is superior to the squirrel. The squirrel is superior to the mountain. No one is superior or inferior in the world. And the answer is option C. No one is superior or inferior in the world. So, option C. Put it in the box. Next, C may complete the following sentences. First question: Two words used in the poem to indicate the squirrel are. Dash and dash. Second may, B may, no C may. First one, the squirrel are little prick and bud. So in the first one you write little prick and bud. The two words used in the poem to indicate the squirrel are little prick and bud. Next. Number two, the squirrel admitted that dash. The squirrel admitted that it was small in size compared to mountain. Right? So, right. Number two, it was 
small in size compared to the mountain. Next number three, the squirrel argued that the world needs both dash and dash. The squirrel argued that the world needs both big and small things, right? So number three, right? Big and big and small things. Next main E main add a prefix to each of these words to make new words. If you get stuck on any one, move on to the next and go back to the difficult ones after you have completed the rest. The prefixes in the box might help you. Few letters have been given. What do you mean by prefix first, children? You all have learned this already, right? Few letters added in front of a root word are called what prefix. For example, happy, happy is one word, right? If you add un before happy, then this un is for prefix, okay? This is what prefix, a few letters added in front of a root word is called what prefix. Here few words have been given, we have to add few uh, letters have given already in the box. We have to add and make a new word. Okay. All words you have to add in front of the root word and it is called prefix. Okay. 
first one is impossible right impossible next number 2 misplaced next number 3 rewind r v -E. you can write here prefix p r e is a you can write next connect you can write d i s disconnect illegal i l l e g a l illegal then here disobey d i s o b e y here disable d i s you can add here healthy you can add unhealthy prove improve here you can write unhappy you can write here display here dishonest this is non fiction next discover recent disappear invisible unlucky Mistakes. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the in-practice session.